I'm Chris Alice with Venison Yachting in Windmill Harbor Marina in Hilton Head, South Carolina. Today I'm going to be taking you on a walkthrough of Jackalope, a 66 Veacham Sport Cruiser. She was launched in 2009 and has a three stateroom layout. There are a lot of things to love about this boat, but there are three that I think are worth noting before we start today's walkthrough. First, the vivid claret red hull. This head turning red contrasts perfectly with her oyster white superstructure. The second is her dual master cabin layout. The owners didn't want their guests to feel like they had been relegated to a lesser cabin. Both master staterooms have tons of headroom and king beds. The third thing before we start is how fast she is. You wouldn't think that a boat that displaces over 100,000 pounds could move at 30 knots. Today's walkthrough is starting at the stern on Jackalope's Teak Hydraulic Swim Platform. There are twin 50 amp shore power connections, both with Glendenning Cable Master on port and starboard. Centerline is her tender garage. Access to the cockpit is up three stairs on both port and starboard. Aft and on the center line is a molded in banquette with a movable custom teak table. On port and starboard in the cockpit are twin docking stations. Here we find throttle controls as well as bow and stern thruster controls. Forward of the port side docking station is a sink and forward of the starboard docking station is a shot electric grill and below this an ice maker. Underfoot, forward of the transom gates, are engine room access hatches. Passageways run forward from the aft deck on both port and starboard. They have plenty of handholds and high rails for safe access to the foredeck. Immediately forward of the four deck hatches is a sun pad with grab rails. All the way forward on the bow is her ground tackle and powerful Lofren's windlass. Facing aft and moving toward the windshield are polished stainless steps that lead up to the roof of the hardtop. Here we have easy access to her Raymarine radar array as well as KVH satellite domes. Stepping back under the cockpit hardtop, we enter the salon through polished stainless and glass doors. The salon is stunning. The millwork and joinery on board complement her equally eye-catching exterior. On the port side is a comfortable, rich cream leather sofa that faces the entertainment center. Forward on the starboard side is a bar top up against the galley. This bar ties the salon and galley together and makes the salon a great entertaining space. Across from the bar is a curved stairway that leads down to the crew quarters. At the foot of the stairs, we come to the crew head. This head features a separate enclosed shower stall. On the starboard side is the crew cabin. It features transverse bunks and more than enough storage. Outside of the crew cabin entrance is the washer and dryer. And finally, her primary engine access is through this watertight door. Jackalope is powered by a pair of manned diesel engines that combine to put out 3,100 horsepower. She has a cruising speed of 24 knots and a top speed of 30. Here in the engine room, we also have a pair of Cummins Onan generators. One is 21.5 kilowatts and the other is 13.5. Jumping up to the main deck, let's take a look at the galley. Under the Ford countertop are four Sub-Zero refrigerator and freezer drawers. Facing starboard is the sink and trash compactor. Aft in the galley is a Bosch four burner ceramic cooktop as well as an under counter microwave and a GE monogram dishwasher. 
Adjacent to the galley is the dinette. It features U-shaped seating and a high-low table. All the way forward and on starboard is Jackalope's helm. Facing the helm are a pair of Stid power actuated helm chairs. Centerline are two Raymarine chart plotter and radar screens. Outboard of both of these are her man engine displays. Starting on the left, we have the controls for her Jabsco searchlights, the cruise air air conditioning in the pilot house, and her sunroof controls. We also have an ICOM VHF radio. Here we have Raymarine depth and speed, her autopilot controls, and her Raymarine wind instruments. Outboard of that are her side power bow and stern thruster controls, as well as her man engine and throttle controls. Wrapping up at the helm station, we take these slightly off-center stairs down to the Ford staterooms. This whole stairway hinges up to reveal more storage and a wine cooler. Now in the passageway on the port side is the first stateroom, which is the guest stateroom. It doubles as an office with a desk below the hall windows. There is a berth concealed below the desk, as well as a Pullman berth opposite the desk. On the Ford bulkhead in the cabin is storage and a TV. Opposite in the hall and on the starboard side is the first of the two dual master staterooms. She features a king-sized athwart ship bed. On the aft bulkhead is a lot more hanging storage as well as a vanity. Ford is her ensuite head with separate shower stall. Ford in the bow is the second of the two masters. Stepping inside, we see why it's hard to refer to this as a standard VIP. When the owners designed this boat, they wanted their guests to have a cabin as nice as their own. With a huge centerline king and over seven feet of headroom, I can't imagine you'll find a bigger stateroom on a boat of this size. On the starboard side is a vanity and TV. To port is the entrance to her ensuite head. This head can also be accessed from the passageway as a day head. On behalf of myself and Dennis and Yachting, I'd like to thank you for joining me on this walkthrough of a 2009 66 Veacham Sport Yacht. If you have any questions or you would like to schedule a showing, please contact me anytime.